our podcast is all about you, man, and your journey in music and how you got to where you are now. Sure. Cool, sure. Cool. Um, born and raised in Livingston, Scotland. Is that true? Um, it was the near the nearby town from Livingston called Bathgate, which I'll 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 just I'll just make that correction now because people at home would kill me if I <laughs> if I got it wrong. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but yeah, it was it was it, but, but uh, yeah, Bathgate, uh, which that? which isn't it's it's near. It's like an uh, it's like a town just outside of Edinburgh. I don't. It's not it's not known for that much. I think I think the guy. The guy who discovered penicillin was from here. Was he and, really? That's uh, kind of a huge deal. Uh, <laughs> Saved so many good. lives. A lot of people are allergic to it, but hey. <laughs> so, so, so that that's kind of cool. Uh, I think I think David David Tennant, the actor uh, who was Doctor Who for a while, he was he was from here. But really? um, not a lot, not a, not a little else going on in, in Bathgate. <laughs> how'd you get into music was there music there yeah um yeah i just uh i just did, did the usual like mom and dad paid for piano lessons um okay. and like lessons on the flute as well um and i kind of i kind of hated it until until um i guess i listened to i i got listening to bell and sebastian the band bell and sebastian oh, yeah. um that my my mom and dad used to play in the car and for some reason something in my head just switched and i suddenly was like oh i could use the piano for for my own stuff i just it, everything changed after that i i kind of i started recording music on um on like a yamaha keyboard with like you could record four four different tracks on top of each other on the and, and built this built-in four track idea on the yamaha keyboard so oh, i started wow. with I, I started with that and then um showed those demos to some some friends at school started playing in a couple different bands uh-huh. and uh but eventually just came back to making music by myself just because of the it's just nice to be in control of every different element um so I, my my dad got upgraded me to fl studio like fruity loops oh right okay um yeah which is about about 10 or 11 years ago um and that's and that's just what i've been making music on ever since wow were your parents into me i mean bell and sebastian that's pretty pretty rad uh intro yeah, music it's, i mean it's pretty it's pretty cool i was it's crazy actually i was just i was I was just in the studio with them like uh on Thursday, which was really? th- yeah, which was the wow. craziest, craziest experience of my life because uh it's like I went in and I felt I felt like I already knew them all because I'd been watching them and you know listening to them for like since I was like 12 or 13 uh-huh. or even even younger than that. So like when I walked in and they started to there's the seven of them in the band and I, I saw yeah they've they got quite to, a big group <laughs> yeah and they started they, they started to introduce themselves and I was like wait hold up I got I got this okay so, and then and then just like listed them all okay Stevie <laughs> we got Stevie we got Stuart we got Sarah we got Richard we got Dave uh, so like it was I think they they appreciated that um they they just had like a young dude come in who was just like unabashedly a, a a a massive bell and sebastian geek you know what i mean sure um so that's, it was- that's rad because i mean they're a pretty indie band i mean i've worked at a radio station um here in went a, a while back in 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 san diego and we were playing i think the party line like they're getting a little bit of radio play here in the in the united oh, states but oh good yeah but not a whole lot i mean they would they'd be a name like you know at the top of a festival yeah they, yeah yeah but they the, were kind of on the indie i mean more on the indie side than anything else de- definitely like they're um they're, they're they're just they're so like revered i guess they've just got their they've got this cool little lane um that they have that like they'll, they'll always be sort of um I suppose kind of legendary is that you know one of those bands that at the beginning of like bedroom pop and all that stuff and their 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 first albums and their the the mythology of Bell and Sebastian I think um you know will 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 
you know will 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 live live forever but in in terms of what they're what what they're up to now i i don't know i'm just i i just went in and i brought them a song that i'd written and and uh, Stuart, the the singer was like yeah do you want to do you want to do you want to try this with Bell Sebastian, which was insane to me because oh my god, I I, do, I like I don't I don't think they've I I might be wrong, but I can't remember a time when they've 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 sang a song that was from outside the band. You know what I mean? Because they have like three or four incredibly capable songwriters there already. <laughs> yeah. You know, what and I mean? they have like they have a ton of records too. It's not like they're yeah. short on yeah. material. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so, yeah, what a it, moment. It was, I mean, I know, talk about was, a full circle moment. That's yeah, so cool. It was it was really, really insane. Um yeah, like I've I've probably I've probably ended up speaking to like uh like technically more famous people and stuff in passing just because you know that's the the music industry you you, re, you realize it is kind of small uh-huh. uh when you when you like get start doing the the major label thing and stuff but um but Stuart from Bell and Sebastian has, has been the biggest like I don't know the biggest uh, star stricken moment for me you know yeah. out, of all, out, of, out of them all that's um, cool that's so cool. yeah it's nice. Wow. wow. Well, I want to get back to how you how you really started. So, how old are mm. you when you got that uh, that you said you had a Casio keyboard or? Oh yeah, like a Yamaha. Like oh a, Yamaha. Uh, like a Yamaha. So I was probably about oh like I was in end of primary school. You call it here. So I was probably about eleven, ten or eleven. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I, I just I just got got really into that, and then. I'm trying to think what the what the order of things was after that because I ended up I ended up in a band in early early high school where I was like a a a really terrible synth pop uh group <laughs> where I was I was writing I was writing everything we were we were yeah we were we were bad we were bad uh and then I at some point during that I got interested in because I was playing the synthesizer with that band I got really interested in um yeah the the fruity loop software because it allowed me to program in all of the stuff so I could uh-huh. do layers and layers and layers of uh, synthesizer um so I ended up starting a project um called Super Saiyans which is named after like the, some of the dudes in the characters in Dragon Ball Z uh, oh, but okay. the, yeah but the, that was a that was a chiptune project so that was like you know uh chiptune being like sort of game boy in oh, music yeah, game, yeah, yeah, game, yeah 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 i know game, what that is okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like but it's all done music. through like pedals right is it like pedal? oh well it was i was i was cheating because like the, the real like hardcore people would be using like um they would be using like special cartridges that you could buy for a Game Boy that would allow you to actually compose all the music on the console itself. Where really? That, where, I, I didn't yeah. realize it got that involved. I thought see, yeah. I thought it was done like like you pre-made okay. Uh, yeah, I was under the impression almost like you pre-made the the music half and then you like you ran it through like pedals. No, no. It, it was it was it was pretty it was pretty hardcore. Except I I did not do that. I just did. Uh, I just made music that like emulated the sound of, you know, of uh, like old Super Nintendo games. Just because, you know, it's quite it's quite easy to find like a, a square wave and a sawtooth wave and uh-huh. a triangle wave and all of the basic waveforms that would be used to compose those songs. So I just I just took it into Fruity Loops and did it that way, and I had a li- <laughs> I had a little bit of a little bit of success with that. I, I ended That's up. That's awesome. Like I, I ended up um speaking. I was on the, yeah the big the big radio station here, BBC Radio One. Uh-huh. Um, I, I ended up getting a, a having an interview with Annie Mac. Um, who's a, 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 like one of the big kind of UK music cool gatekeeper people uh so i had like an interview with her yeah and, she was uh, she's a legend right i mean yeah she's she's super cool she just she, she had, just left radio one she's just about to leave radio one but um yeah she is because she kind of took over for what zane low when he got really big that's right yeah yeah yeah. yeah. he kind of like 
like when like, when Zaylo took the yeah he he did the apple thing didn't he yeah he, he kind of started doing that like the beats not was it beats I don't yeah remember. yeah something like that yeah um, he left to do apple which was you know massive I mean he's like a legend in itself but yeah, yeah she kind of took over for him right on BBC One yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. So. So I, I got to chat to her, but which was like a, a major high point because I was probably about fifteen at the time. But then, um, I still, I still ended up kind of giving up on the on the project because I would be going and playing like gigs at, uh, playing shows at like local pubs, and everyone else on the lineup would be like a four piece guitar rock band that was trying to like emulate like either oasis or the libertines or you know oh, that sure kind of sure yeah. the, 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 arctic the, the, monkeys or something. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like literally exactly that like so <laughs> every every other band and i just felt so i would be thicker skinned nowadays but then i just felt i felt super judged i guess well you're um, kind of not yeah, like you're kind of out of place in the lineup I, but I, yeah I, I, but i feel like you were doing something that nobody was doing right i mean <laughs> Yeah, when it yeah. came oh, to, it, to it, that, it was. I was I was doing something that, yeah, like no one else. Certainly, no one else in the, my town was was doing anything like that. And um, I suppose that I I felt like a little bit of um, I I I maybe felt that people people watching um, there there was like a little bit because it was because I was just doing something so completely different. There was like a little bit of um, ah, uh, like like resentment or like they just didn't like they they didn't like it because it was different. And I right, felt, they just weren't. You know, it felt unfamiliar. Maybe they're like, oh, yeah. like I'm 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 like comfortable if I would sit in the show and watch four dudes play guitar and bass and drums and sing yeah, but yeah, yeah, what's yeah. this guy doing like i don't know if i can really you know yeah yeah, yeah it's and almost I, like a I, comfort I, thing that's weird yeah and at the time i was i was like the youngest person in the room at any given point at these pubs you know i was like i would have been like 14 or 15 um and you know you're you're not technically supposed to be in there until you're 18 years old okay um so i was i was kind of mortified by 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 the experience of like doing shows and stuff like that but i i um i i got back into playing in a band that was kind of more traditional like three piece rock band like akin to like biffy clyro or something like that okay yeah um and then it did that did that until i left left high school for for university in glasgow packed in the band and then a couple of years into into university um i just i kind of met I met a met a friend with whom I'd only ever been like online pen pals, and he mm. was like another another music producer who I'd never met in real life. And I bumped into him one day in Glasgow, and he was like, "Are you still making electronic music?" Because I'm still making electronic music, and uh, I just got back into it, um, making music on my laptop from from that, with just making from meeting a few a few friends in this new in this new city. Um, oh, that wow. I'd, I'd, I ended up in and then yeah just kept kept on going from there were you going to university for music yeah yeah i was doing well the, the the amazing thing about um university in scotland is that it's 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 paid it's paid for you know i mean you get to so it's free university um which is insane and it meant that it meant that i was able to i knew that my parents really wanted me to do but a university thing um so i was i was able to just pick one like okay i'll just do music i'll mm -hmm. do i'll do i'll do a music degree and then that way i have like four years straight up of my mom and dad like not having to ask me any questions about like what are you <laughs> like what, what, what are you doing, doing? <laughs> like, what, 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 what are you doing with your life and all that uh so that was cool that kind of that, that yeah that kept them off my case for like four years and then you, get a, you got actually you get you get a, like a four-year college degree at yeah yeah at, for at glasgow for for free i think i think you need to you need to start finding proper like funding from elsewhere if you want to do like post grads and stuff like that but yeah like for for what i was doing yeah i it was um you know you, you obviously have to 
pay for your own comed- accommodation and stuff like that. But the actual um, school itself. But for for the but the school is totally free, which is which is like it, insanely good. Um, I'm curious if you don't mind. I'm just just random question here because we everybody yeah, yeah. here in the states has to pay for school, and they're trying to push, you know, free. Um, like the first two years of school for free here for us. Like mm. instead of like, if you want to get a four year degree, you have to pay for the additional two years mm. to get the actual like college, like a bachelor's shirt. Like, for yeah, example. yeah, yeah. Bachelor's Do a lot shirt. of people take advantage of that? Or is it kind of still a lot of people don't? Is it like, I, I feel think- like, I don't know. I guess my question is, is because it's free, is everyone like, oh, well, I may as well just go four more years? Or do a lot of people go, Oh, I'm done. Like, I don't need to, I'm like, I'm just going to get a job instead of going an additional four years. No, it's, it's, uh, definitely like where in, in, in the, the, the town I'm, I'm from, which is fairly like, I, 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 at least I imagine it's like a fairly, you know, run of the mill, like standard example of just like generic kind of, um, central Scottish town. Right. Uh-huh. Um, but everyone at, everyone well most of the it was kind of there was sort of an assumption that you were going to go and go go to university you know uh-huh. what i mean when it, when it, when it came to the, your your fifth and sixth your kind of final years it was just like the, you, going to university is just what you do that's the standard thing right. that's not like uh, it's not like a particularly special thing that only only the the the, the incredibly fortunate um have access to to. it was kind of yeah it's kind of it's it's sort of something that almost everyone in my in my year and in high school ended up going off to a different university and yeah and and then to do you know to ultimately do like four year four year degrees so like yeah it's 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 pretty normal like it's it's um i suppose it's kind of it's easy to sort of take it for I, I I definitely took it for granted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, but you like, did I, it. I mean, right? Yeah. yeah, well, oh, so yeah. I was just curious like, of like a lot of people were like, well, if I don't have to go, I mean, mm-hmm. why not? But but yeah, like I I um. But it sounds like a lot of people know. took it take advantage of it. The fact that it is paid for oh, and oh yeah, definitely. Like people like definitely end up. Um, a lot of my friends went to university. Just you know to 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 do something that they didn't really care that much about, or maybe they weren't particularly good at it, but it was that time and they had to go to university, so they better pick something. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. That is- so like, so a lot of people, um, quite a few of my friends ended up kind of dropping out in the in the in the first or second year just because it was like, what was I thinking? You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> not everybody finishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of yeah. people start, but not a lot of people finish. <laughs> <laughs> got it okay that's right yeah uh, i like that okay i was just yeah. curious sorry yeah no <laughs> cool no so I, I i did my i did my four years of uni so i've got a, i've got a music degree um but i i don't really know i don't know exactly what i would use it for because i don't like the idea of teaching music mm-hmm. and um i don't know what else you do really if you have a music degree <laughs> you get signed to a major <laughs> label. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Like, but I, w- I wish I wish that my music degree would give me a little bit more clout with the uh, with my A and R team. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. There you I'll go. just 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 let my degree speak for itself. Yeah. Did you, uh, you should just hang it in your like. <laughs> I always kind of have it around <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you like, are you sure you want to do this? You're like, here's my degree. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, it's, uh, (laughs) it was, it was definitely a a good, yeah, it was, it was a good way of um, just uh, doing something because you also get um, a little bit of money from the, from the government to, to live off of Mm -hmm. like a certain like allowance each month um to 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 help pay for pay for rent and stuff like that so i i only had to like work a minimal amount um and then i was i could just i could just like spend i i got back into producing music properly in the last you know in second year third year fourth year of of uni and then uni ended and then i decided i just said to my parents like okay 
I'm just I'm just saying like I'm gonna stay in Glasgow. I'm gonna stay living here. I'm gonna get a job in a bar, and I'm just gonna keep on trying. And I did that for about I was working in a bar in the West End of Glasgow for five years. Um, for like four or five years after I after I finished uni, and and then and then um and then the major label thing came along and I was able to finally quit that. How did, and, how did uh, that, how did the, uh, you go from, you know, the, the bar and, and making music kind of on your own to, mm. you know, gaining the, even the eyes of a major label, like, Oh, like what's, what's this guy up to? Yeah, it was, it was a very, very gradual, um, very gradual progression where I, I kind of, I was just sort of playing playing shows and then kind of building up a reputation as on this sort of live circuit in Glasgow and kind of playing sort of bigger and bigger support slots um for for people like I got one with DJ Shadow oh and wow like I just I just ended up like yeah like I I became like a good like go to uh electronic guy for if there was ever like an electronic ish like big artists coming through the 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 um the live the live guys would just be like oh we'll just, we'll just get what to do it uh so i was quite fortunate like that so I, I just ended up building like a little bit of a reputation that way but the 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 the, the label that that kept me that kind of kept me afloat um with the with the what thing and then um i released a couple of records through a guy called Ryan Hemsworth, his his label called Secret Songs, um, which was like a <clears throat> like another way to I gained a little bit more of a, a presence. Um, but aside from aside from that, really, um, the the thing that the thing that got a major label or like basically every major label in in uh, in the country um, was was calling me because of a, a music video that me and my friend Joe just went and made uh, for a song that's that's maybe going to be the next single. Um, but we just went in for like 50, 50 pounds, I think, all in. We spent on making this music video. We put it, toge <laughs> we put it together. And um, like just after we'd finished it, one of my old friends, my old friends from high school, just started a job as a as a well. He was he was trying to get his foot in the door as an A and R person, so he was like auditioning for labels. And he asked if he could bring some of my music along to his A and R auditions, um, to just to see if it could help him get a job. And he brought that music video in, and and one person saw it and they went crazy and told to another person and then. It just became this this crazy circus uh, between all the all of these major labels, um, and yeah, just like ended up fight, ultimately signing with signing with RCA on like a really kind of nice like de developmental deal, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I've just been just been working away on that ever since. Wow, what's the you haven't released the video yet? You're talking about? I've not, no, no, it's crazy. It's it's kind of cool. Like we've not released the the thing that we we recorded it like about two years ago now um and we've 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 made some slight changes to it but what i like about this video um yeah it will be the next video that comes out but i like that there's there's a, a an innocence to it in the it's it's the it will be the one video we get to release where we had no idea that it was we were going to be in a major label situation you know we didn't we didn't have any idea that we were going to have the eyes of the world on this thing we purely made it for ourselves and we just get to release it still in this basically like intact like um like un unjaded kind of um style that we that, you know that we that we had back in the day um so like i'm it feels like a little time capsule i'm really sure. I'm excited for people to see it Wow. And what what song is it for? It's not for life, is it? No, no, it's for it's for a new a new a new single. Uh, uh, yeah, it's for it's for a new single which is like yeah, it was it was one of the one of the songs that um the like all of the labels and stuff went kind of went a little bit crazy about um 
so like I'm 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 excited to I'm excited to uh to 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 put it out finally, but I also w- wanted to wanted to save putting it out until I knew I had some some other some other good ones in the arsenal. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, I want I, I like I always like to have a few like at least like three or four things. Uh, you know, think thinking like three or four steps ahead in terms of like releases and stuff, mm-hmm. and. Um, obviously like a, a, a label hears a song that they think could do well and they want to they, 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 you know they want they want to make use of it right um, but like i for, for my sanity i want to know that i'm already good good for the next one i've not i'm not just going to blow my load on this you know <laughs> yeah my, that my, makes my, sense yeah to have song. yeah like because what then they're going to be like okay now what yeah right exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you yeah. going to follow that up? Okay, now what? But at least if you already have the songs that are ready. Yes, you know, exa- you exactly. Go. No, it's, it's it's really cool. And like, yeah, the 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 label so far have been like incredible. And um, they're, they, they, they kind of, they understand the, the project for what it is, which it, it, might, it might take, since it's so, so different to most of the stuff that's going on out there um it might it might take a little a little bit of time to truly catch on but it'll be worth it when it does and um so yeah they're being really patient with me and just kind of yeah like letting me kind of keep keep all of my creative control and and um yeah just taking taking things a step at a time and it's uh it's, it's been it's been great that's amazing so where was this video you said this video was done like a over a year ago mm. <clears throat> yeah it was just on uh, in, in the upstairs of a bar in in glasgow um we we spent some money on uh what did we spend the money on we got some <laughs> we, we got some green screen material and then we we borrowed some masks from another guy we just met in glasgow and oh i and i bought a suit i bought like a like a halloween costume suit and then and that was it and that, and then the, the, my 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 video guy who i i whenever i got signed i said is it okay if i bring the guy who made this video along with me and so he makes we work together on every single music video now oh, that's um, cool. which is cool cuz it gives it like a consistent thing and like we we can work on all the we do all the artwork together and um yeah all the different music videos and and all the like <clears throat> although although the, if we want to put some weird stuff on social media just like for for whatever reason we can i can just i can just message joe and be like hey do you want to you know do you want to do you want to make a guy with a rectangle head dance to some rave music for me and he'll just, <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, just go, he'll just go do it it's great that's awesome that's really awesome so where were you when this whole virus hit and how did that kind of affect you I was I was living in I was living in Glasgow to be uh, I, I moved out of Glasgow because I had another flatmate who who moved out and then my myself and my my partner <coughs> um couldn't we, like we just didn't want to find a replacement um especially in 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 covid zone so we just we just sure we, yeah 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 so Makes we just sense. went back, we, yeah so we just went back to like our, our respective family homes so i've just been i've just been chilling with my my parents and um like four out of five of my my brothers came to to live in the same house at the same time which has been crazy it's been like a, a weird like portal back <laughs> portal like back to, to back to high school right uh, which is really really weird but and you know like the novelty the novelty of it kind of comes and goes <laughs> you know what i mean like the, the, it's it's quite it's fun sometimes and sometimes it's like oh, i really wish i could have a few a few more beers without my mum having to see all the cans the next day. You know I mean? like, like, did uh, you drink all of those last yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some of these must so, have been from the other day. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 100%. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's, 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 been, it's been really nice. Um, but in, in general, like I... I I guess I've I've realized from, from COVID more so than anything else ever that... Um, I, I I'm kind of an an, an introvert <laughs> with, with, without really you know thinking about it too much. I I never really I've never really been the person to instigate 
like social gatherings and things like that um and I'm yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty terrible for it that that old saying that it's like the best the best kind of plans are cancelled plans like I, I like that, that. Re- I've that, heard that yeah before. yeah that resonates with me so much I'm just like I'll 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 kind of say yes to a social engagement and then pray for the next two weeks that something, something <laughs> makes it so you don't have to go dude that's totally yeah. me <laughs> yeah for the next like, two what? weeks i'm trying to figure out an excuse of how to get out of it <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 it's like have i have i told them that have i used my brother's birthday as an excuse before do, do they do they know when my brother's birthdays are Right, right. Uh, so, so like that, that kind of stuff. But, um, but no, I've, I've, I've been, I've been really kind of okay. It's, it's been really lucky. Obviously, I have my, I have my family. And there's like what six or seven people in this house at any given time. So it's kind of a good social thing. Sure, um, get enough social I, life there at home, right? You yeah, don't need yeah, to yeah. go out and find a find a group of people to hang with. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like more than enough social stuff going on here, and then, um, yeah, I just, um, I just do do the same thing. I do the same thing I always do, which is just stay in my room all day and make music. Yeah. Um, so it's it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty seamless, um, to be honest. And it's and as I was saying earlier on, like I I love having I love having more than enough music, and this has just been a great opportunity to, for everything to slow down and for me to just do make new singles Mm -hmm. um it's been a bit of a blessing in disguise sure with the song life that came out uh Mm. not last month but in in march was that Mm. something you had written during during the Mm. quarantine yeah that's that's something that i wrote that's something that i wrote um before i even signed to rca it's a really old one yeah i had it, it it was it was initially um, it was initially like a, a, a in a more hip hop tempo, like the drums were at halftime instead of like a house, a house record, um, and uh, it was like it was like something from I don't know if you know people like Hudson Mohawk or like um, Rusty, the kind of like I suppose like electronic trap sound, sure, uh, that that became kind of quite popular back in like two thousand twelve. But anyway, it sounded a little bit more like that, and then um the you know i was i was just thinking i'm always thinking about like oh is there something i've got in like the bottom drawer uh that could be like repurposed for a single at some point so i was like ah, do i do have that thing um so uh but one day i was I, I got really into um like daft punk's first first album i got really into that again and then i got into like a, a bunch of the music that the two the the two guys individually from daft punk had, had worked on um just after their first album for their like their respective labels that they'd set up and i was like i want to do that i'll just go and i'll just go turn that hip-hop thing into a french house thing and i did that and the label was happy with it. They passed it around. And um, my A&R guy said, oh, the magician, this uh, Belgian producer is like really up for up for working on it with you. So I was like, okay, cool. I sent it to him and he uh, he just mixed it really well. He like changed some of the drum sounds up a bit, uh, mastered it, and and that was it. And uh, and we, we just went ahead with it. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, the um the 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 vocal the vocal was a uh, 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 getting somebody else to sing the vocal on this song was like a new thing for me which I hadn't I hadn't done before but um it it, it came out it came out all right and how how did you find the person to sing the vocal was that kind of a and what made you go that route well I I knew. I knew I knew it needed a, a vocal hook. But there is an instrumental version on Spotify and stuff. Um, and I suppose you could you could you could probably hear what I was hearing as I was listening to the instrumental. That it was like it's a it's a cool record. It would maybe be good in a club, but um, in terms of radio, you just want like a a, a vocal there. Um, 
so I so I just kind of at the very the, one of the last things I did was like write the write the top line write the vocal melody, mm-hmm. and um, my manager at the time just happened to have been working with a guy just very recently, um, and I can't even remember his name, which is absolutely terrible. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, but, but um, yeah, we just we just had uh, we we just had him him sing it one night, and it was and it was it was all good. Uh, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't spend much, uh, spend much time hunting, hunting for the vocal. I was fair, fairly happy with it, and the magician was 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 happy with it, and uh, yeah, I was just, I, I get, I get kind of antsy sometimes when I've had songs for a certain amount of time that I kind of, I, I no longer want to work on them, and uh, I just, <laughs> I just want them to be finished, and put them out in the world. So I kind of reached that point with uh, with life where I was just, I was just ready for it to ready for it to you know see the light of day amazing well the song's great man and it's doing really well on spotify from what i'm seeing here mm. so congratulations yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has it has been it has been good and um, we'll see there's 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 a there's a couple other other things like some some weird like sync opportunities that we've been getting asked for about it um but we'll we'll see we'll see if those come to fruition or whatever um like and 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 i should probably decide whether or not i i want to go the completely ex, you know exploiting my my record to to the absolute <laughs> maximum for like t- <laughs> toothpaste toothpaste commercials you know what i mean sure. but uh but you know like we'll, we'll see um yeah hopefully hopefully there's a I, th- I think there's a little bit more life in it yet which is which is cool that's um, awesome. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see this video for uh for the song that got you on RCA and and hear it. Mm. I'm really excited. Is there like oh, a release yeah. date for it yet, or are you still kind of figuring that out? No, we've got we've got a few more things that we want to do with the the life single. <clears throat> so we're kind of we're we're being sort of flexible with it at the minute, but for sure it's going to be the next one um i'll try i'll try see if i can find a link and send you the send you the music video in advance so you can see it i'd love to that'd be awesome man thank you no not at all yeah thank you so much for doing this i really appreciate it i have one more question for you before i let you go yeah i want to know if you have any advice for aspiring artists Mm, um i suppose um yeah, that is a that's one that's one of those those questions that like I should I should have just I should just think of a, a response in advance because it's it is it's one of those questions but it's 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 it's, <laughs> it's a really it's a really good one. Um, the 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 thing that I always I always said to myself is um just to to always to always keep trying even if it feels like things aren't aren't going right for me the only way to really fail is to is is to give up just to truly give up on yourself and uh i suppose that you know there can come times when it's okay when it's okay to 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 um put one thing down and and move on with your life and move on to the next thing but i think you know just 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 keep keep trying um like i worked i worked in a i worked in a bar for for five years with just complete blind faith that something was going to work and it and it, and it did only because i kept trying um so yeah it's it's, it's kind of a you know so i'm i'm sorry it's like a a fairly standard response i'm sure but um yeah it's true for me Bring it back for you.